you are about to take another green energy adventure with me, Jay Nygaard, the Turbine Guy. Hey folks, Turbine Guy here, and I'm out on one of the job sites where we installed a 12.2 kilowatt solar system on a house located on beautiful Lake Minnetonka in Minnesota. Now this house that was built is a designer home. It's got all kinds of happy, fancy features, including, like I said, the 12.2 kilowatt solar system. He's got a green roof. He's also got Tesla batteries. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look and see what he's got going on in here. Now we're on the street side, and if we look up at the house, we can see right along the roof, we've got 36 Canadian Solar 305 watt modules. And we got two rows of 18 each in a string. Now these, uh, this whole system has N-phase microinverters, IQ6 plus microinverters on the back of these. So th instead of having a big inverter system in the, in the garage or basement, all the inverting's done up there. And you're gonna see when we get in, look at the electronics, there's a reason for that, because his wall is already full of stuff. Well, we've come into the house because there's something I wanna show you, but we can only get to it from in here, so come on. Here it is, right out the window. We've got solar modules on the green roof. Let's go outside and take a look. All right, well, we're out on the green roof and we can see the whole system up behind us here mounted to a metal roof clipped on real nice but the interesting part is the solar modules on the green roof and you can see this green roof all the way along this section out over the garage now he does have a bit of a complaint with these modules at the angle so we're going to look at tipping them up but also after putting the system on when he built the house this is the biggest one excel would let us put uh, we have found that he's using more electricity than he's producing. So he's looking to add modules onto this part of the roof right here. And that's why we came out today is take a look, see how we can adjust things around and add some more solar. All right, well, we're down in the heart of the electronics area right now. And right here we can see this is where the PV system's connected right there. And we got the end phase connected and then the four power walls from Tesla. Now, if you come over down here and look, here's our end phase monitoring system, Envoy. Sends everything via Wi Fi onto the computer and you can see what you want to. But most importantly and unique about this system is the four Tesla power wall batteries he has. Now these batteries are tucked nice and neatly in here for everybody to, you know, see them but out of the way. And he's ready to run his house when the power goes down. And that's what these are for. 